Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 706 days last the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Pentagon confirmed previous media reports that Ukraine will receive American GLSDB bombs in accordance with the agreements, but did not specify the specific dates of the transfer of weapons, reports Suspilne. According to Pentagon spokesperson Patrick Ryder, the United States will continue to work closely with Ukraine and its security partners. Earlier, Politico citing four sources reported that the Pentagon successfully tested a new high-precision long-range bomb, which may arrive in Ukraine as early as Wednesday, 31st of January. Washington announced the supply of these guided aircraft bombs in February 2023. However, because this is a new weapon, it had to be tested even though it is not yet in service with the American Army. As a result, the provision of GLSDB was eventually postponed until the beginning of 2024. GLSDB is a GPS-guided bomb that can override electronic interference and is suitable for use in all weather conditions. It can also be launched from armored vehicles. The bomb will allow the Ukrainian military to hit targets twice as far as it is currently firing from HIMARS, forcing Russia to relocate its logistics even further away from the front lines. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Cabinet of Ministers submitted an updated draft law on mobilization to Ukraine's parliament, reports Forbes Ukraine. The government originally submitted a bill on mobilization to Parliament on 25th of December, involving provisions on further conscription and restrictions on draft evaders. Lawmakers later returned the bill for revision on 11th of January, after weeks of public debate and controversy in Ukraine. The Defense Ministry indicated that comments and observations on the draft law were taken into account together with the general staff, the government and the MP. The Defense Ministry indicates that comments and observations on the draft law were taken into account together with the general staff, the government and the MPs. The bill suggests, among other things, to lower the conscription age from 27 to 25. Financial compensation for Ukrainian servicemen is set to a minimum of 20,000 grivna, which is 526 US dollars. Additional remuneration for the period of martial law ranges between 30,000 and 100,000 grivna or 790 and 2600 US dollars. A clear term of service for the period of martial law is defined by 36 months, but with approval from the commander-in-chief. People with disabilities of all groups are exempt from military service. And those who volunteer to serve have a two-month period to resolve personal issues and prepare for mobilization. Ukrainian men will have to create an electronic cabinet of a conscript and will be able to update their data there without going to the conscription offices in person. Conscription notices can be received via this cabinet as well. If a person doesn't respond to the notice, it is proposed to impose restrictions through the court. Conscription dodgers may be banned from leaving Ukraine, drive a vehicle, their assets can be frozen. According to the Ministry of Finance of Ukraine, the aggregate public debt of Ukraine in 2023 increased to a new historical maximum, reports Interfax Ukraine. In dollar terms, it increased by 33.9 billion US dollars, 30.4%. Thus, the debt is now is over 145 billion dollars. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people, and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.